Am I the asshole I upset my pregnant wife and caused her to cry? My wife is two months pregnant. Yesterday was my birthday. When I went into the kitchen my wife told me that she was going to work and wouldn't be home until late. She didn't even acknowledge my birthday. I asked her if she had made any breakfast, she usually cooks breakfast for me on my birthday, but she told me to manage with cereal. I thought maybe she wants to surprise me or something and just kept quiet. My parents, siblings and friends called me after that to wish me. I cooked lunch for the both of us and drove to my wife's office to spend time with her. I sat in the park opposite to her office waiting for her to come out for lunch. I think one of her colleagues saw me waiting for her and informed her because she came down soon after and told me to go back home and not embarrass her in front of her colleagues. I handed her the lunch and asked her to at least have it instead of the cafeteria food. She took it and threw it into the trash. I was hurt and embarrassed so I immediately left for home. I was really upset by then and no longer wanted to spend time with her. I went to a movie, ate at my favorite diner then went to the beach for the rest of the evening. When I went back home, my wife surprised me with a cake and party. My in-laws and parents were there. I ignored my wife and went back into the room. My mom got mad at me because apparently my wife was crying. I then proceeded to narrate everything that happened that day to everyone present. My mom was the only one to side with my wife because she's pregnant. My wife defended herself saying that her colleagues were teasing her by calling me a henpecked husband. Now my mom is saying I'm being a baby and that my wife is pregnant and I shouldn't be making her cry. My in-laws and my dad are supporting me. Am I the asshole? Having a surprise party has nothing to do with throwing the lunch in the garbage. Op stated that wife agreed and knew he would be there. She backtracked when her co-workers made fun of her. These are two separate issues. She made you think she did nothing for your birthday so she could surprise you later. People think that makes the surprise bigger. It doesn't, it just sucks. She is the asshole for the way she handed lunch. She is the asshole for not addressing this situation with you later, apologizing for it and having a normal conversation about it is. Also, being pregnant doesn't mean to get to be a jerk and then cry when someone calls you out on it. It's not a get out of jail card for shitty behavior. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Pregnancy is never an excuse for shitty behavior. Absolutely not. Just because she's pregnant doesn't mean you don't have feelings and that those feelings aren't valid. Hormones might be the cause of it but it's not an excuse to be a dick to your partner. I could understand not making breakfast. It feels funny not to acknowledge your partner's birthday. Even if you have something planned for them later. The lunch thing was totally uncalled for and totally would have ruined my day. She shouldn't really give a shit what her colleagues think. Especially if they're using an insult like, henpecked, they're people who aren't worth worrying about. Happy belated birthday, I hope you enjoyed the movie. Not the asshole. You were obviously looking for attention from your wife. She tried to hide your surprise party by hurting you and pretending she forgot your birthday. She was overly mean. Who cares if her friends made fun of her at work? They only did that because they're jealous. She threw the lunch you brought in the trash. She should not have been crying over your reaction. She should be crying over her awful behavior. She ruined your whole birthday day and wants to cry since you don't want to see her now. Not the asshole. She kind of shit all over your day and expected you to just be all happy at the end of it? People keep saying that taking her lunch at work is clingy or needy. You can see the side of Reddit that's never been in a relationship with someone that cares about them. Even after she was kind of shitty in the morning you decided to do something nice for her and she gave you a metaphorical slap in the face. In fact, she said that you embarrassed her? Instead she openly showed disdain of you in front of her colleagues. Regardless they probably think less of you now, which sucks. I'm glad you had a nice day after all the shit went down, until you got home. Not the asshole. Just cause she threw a perfectly good lunch into the bin lol. On your own birthday you made it for her and went out of your way to drop it off just for her to toss it in the trash. For that alone I find your wife so disrespectful, pregnant or no, and speaks volumes. Even if it was a joke or part of setting you up for a birthday surprise, it was a terrible and mean thing to do. How is berating you and throwing your lunch in the trash, which her co-workers probably saw, going to help her, embarrassment? Hen-pecked husband? Well, yeah after they saw the way she treated you. That's her doing, not yours. Not the asshole. She fucked up, if she feels sad because she was made aware that she hurt you then so be it. Am I the asshole for telling a man that I didn't consent to seeing his nipples? Hi, I'm 26 female. I am a new mom, so I'm pretty much exhausted all the time. 
I get barely any sleep, and honestly my body is just so tired. A couple months ago, one of my friends, 26 female, called me and my baby to go out, so I thought it'd be nice to take a day trip since I haven't done it in so long. She also invited her boyfriend, 28 male, and one of his friends, 28 male. We spent the day in downtown and ate lunch in a nice restaurant. It was fun until my baby got a little fussy, so I decided to feed her. We were at a park area, so I just sat down on a bench that was relatively out of the way, and started feeding. My friend and the others were taking some pictures, so I kept our bags next to me to watch them. Her BF's friend, L, decided to come over to grab something from his bag. When he saw me breastfeeding, he got so pissed. He made a face and demanded I stop feeding because he didn't consent to seeing my nipples. I apologized and said that I was sitting out of his view and I needed to feed my baby. He started insulting me and getting louder, and I got really embarrassed. I just got up and moved away until my baby was done and then I tucked everything back in. It was a bit awkward after that, and I just told my friend that I was going to go back home and left. My friend recently turned 26, so she threw a little get-together. My mom watched my baby for me and I went to my friend's house. She had a couple other people there, including her boyfriend and L. When L saw me, he rolled his eyes and said, Ah, not you again. But the party was fun, and my friend had a great time. Everyone was drinking except for me, because I still needed to go home and take care of my baby. L was pretty rude to me the whole time, but I avoided him. Soon, there was an arm wrestling contest between the guys, and L lost to my friend's BF. He started getting a little angry, and asked for a rematch. He then ripped his shirt off, and started flexing to prepare. I was honestly grossed out, and when he saw my face he asked me, what crawled up your ass? I got a little mad and responded, please put your shirt back on. I didn't consent to seeing your nipples. He said, that doesn't work because I'm a guy. I asked him how it was different, and he just rolled his eyes. I was getting more angry now and just repeated, please put your shirt back on. It dissolved into an argument that ended with him calling me a bitch, crazy feminist, and an uptight asshole. Later my friend told me that I probably made too much of a fuss over a shirt. Now I'm wondering, am I the asshole? NTA. And I find it enraging that your friend or her boyfriend or no one else seems to have stuck up for you. You are feeding your child. It is not a sexual thing. I get so mad when men act like this it's so childish. Edit. Thank you for the awards. And I was wrong to say that only men act like this. That is simply not try and I get mad when anyone acts like this. Thanks for checking me guys. That doesn't work because I'm a guy. And here's my response, which is exactly the point. My nipples were out to feed my baby. Yours are out because you can't handle being a sore loser. NTA. Not the asshole. But it sounds like your friends have no idea about the context that led up to this. Let them know he harassed you while you were feeding your child. It's harassment. Not the asshole. He sounds like a sexist redneck and your friend sucks for not defending you. Not the asshole. As someone who's breastfed all three of my kids it's not like it's fun or pleasant. In the beginning I remember it hurt until getting used to it. I had to deal with my own mom demanding I cover up in my own home. I refused. It's not sexual, it's sustaining your child. Not the asshole. It's hilarious when people get offended when they see breasts being used for their intended purpose. Dot. You spot a deer nursing her fawn? Adorable. A human mother nursing her infant? Gasp. How dare she use her breasts for anything other than sex? Notice that the same man who censured you then turned around and used his breasts for sexual showboating in public. Not the asshole, that guy is a no good trash monster and more people need to stand up to him like you did. I just hope you told your friend about how he harassed you in the park so she understood the context of your actions. Sometimes people just side with the first person they see being attacked without really considering what they may have done to deserve it. This has to be fake right? This guy sounds like a character written in an anecdotal story that's virtue signaling for women, mothers rights. The fact that your friend or anyone else didn't say anything either time also seems suspicious. I hope it is fake because if not, you're obviously not at fault here for this um character's dramatic response to something as natural as feeding your child. Am I the asshole for having my wedding on brother's divorce anniversary? I am 28 have been engaged to my fiance F26 for almost a year. What caused a delay was my FMIL falling sick. My fiancé and I decided to have our wedding on January 11, 2022. 
We've already booked a venue, set the guest lists, food menu etc. My patents live hours away. Once they received the invitations they called to confirm the date then demanded I drop everything and come alone to talk about the issue they're having with the date. I took time off work and went to see them and they sat me down to remind me that on 11th of January 2nd years ago, my brother, Isaac, 30, got officially separated from his ex-wife of 8 years. They went on about what a dreadful day that day is for the family and Isaac and told me he told them he won't come to my wedding since this day happens to be his divorce anniversary, unless I change the date since he said he's planning on getting drunk and crying his eyes out for doing what he did and cause his ex to leave him. I was flabbergasted. Like I couldn't tell if they were kidding but I politely said I'm sorry but not changing the date period. Dad angrily said, why the rush? You have a lifetime ahead of you no harm in moving the wedding date. Think about it, I explained that my fiancé and I paid for the venue and set everything up we can't cancel it now. Mom firmly told me to leave my fiancé out it cause she had nothing to do with the conversation we were having. I got upset and said I'm not changing my wedding date and mom said that I'm clearly choosing a day-long celebration over my brother and warned me that I'll have to live with the fact I ruined my relationship with him over this. Dad added telling me to think of it this way. I'm getting married on the very same date my brother's marriage ended and asked how I can possibly not feel guilty for having my wedding anniversary be my brother's divorce anniversary for years to come I argued that Isaac's only himself to blame for sleeping with someone else while married and my exel was right to decide she was having none of it. My parents justified it as, he was drunk, but the outcome is the same. Before I left they said if Isaac isn't coming then they too won't come to the wedding which devastated me cause I want my family with me to share my joy. Cause this is a big deal for me and I wasn't sure if my parents have a point seeing more and more family or saying they won't attend if I'll still have my wedding on January 11th. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole and I'm confused. I am currently going through a divorce and I already have at least three, anniversaries, the day she left. The day she told me she definitely wasn't coming back. The day the decree Nisi was granted. And there will be another when the decree absolute comes through. Then of course there's our wedding anniversary. The anniversary of the day we met, and her birthday. So many dates that people can't steal for happier reasons. Clearly I've been doing it wrong because I have completely failed to demand that my entire family arranges their life around these poignant but ultimately meaningless dates. I hadn't realized that I was supposed to spend the rest of my life mourning a marriage that is over and refusing to enjoy anything else. Not the asshole. Your parents sound like awful people. Prioritizing your brother's bad decisions over your most important day. If anything, that should be a day they want to forget and should be glad to have a happier anniversary to replace it. Also, who the hell celebrates their divorce anniversary? That's seriously fucked up. Oh boo hoo, I'm a garbage person who cheated on my wife and she left me. Let me ruin this day for everyone else for the rest of my life because of my bad decisions. Not the asshole. If they care more about one son's divorce anniversary over their other son's wedding, they've shown their loyalties. Of course your fiancé has a say in the wedding date, she's one of the two people on that altar saying, I do, and paying for the whole shebang. If your parents choose this hill to die on, downplaying the importance of your fiancé in wedding arrangements, if they choose to not be involved there may be other things they lose out on. Not the asshole. Had his ex-wife been the one to dump him, cheat on him, abuse him, or otherwise be the cause of the demise of the marriage, this would be remotely understandable. But it looks like it was Isaac's fault due to his misbehavior. Very entitled of him. Very misguided of your parents. Not the asshole. Ah, uh, not the asshole. Shit happens in life. IDK what happened with the divorce but if he was at fault then he really can't be mad. Lol. I would not change the date. They either want to be a part of it or they don't. Divorce anniversary is not a thing. Not the asshole. Maybe I'm a little biased because I just booked a wedding venue myself. But dates are getting snatched up left and right. You kind of have to take what you get these days. Your brother's relationship ended when he decided to cheat. He doesn't get to take every year and sob into a corner and pretend everyone else hasn't moved on with their lives. Not the asshole. Did Isaac even actually tell them that? Or are your parents just stirring up s? Dot. Also, more and more family are saying they won't attend, does not sound like a normal family relationship, so either someone's doing some, covert ops, to stir trouble, and or there's a big missing piece of information. Especially since Isaac was the one causing the wedding to fail to begin with. Am I the asshole I stopped making my wife lunches? I'm a sod of three kids, 1M, 2F, 5M.
I pack lunches for my wife and five yo every day. A few weeks ago, I noticed that my wife wasn't eating the lunches I pack for her. I tried changing up the dishes so she'd not feel bored. She still was being back her lunches uneaten. I then asked her why she wasn't eating the packed lunches. She said that her co-worker and she had found a really nice eatery near her work so she'd been eating there. So I stopped making lunches because it was a waste of food if she wasn't eating it. Today, she tells me that I'm being childish by not packing her anything and that I should pack her lunches regardless of what she does with the food. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. She's a grown woman and should be making her own lunch. It seems like she's ungrateful for the effort you put into making her lunch. Not the asshole. And may I add WTF? Not the asshole. What a weird power trip your wife's on. Why waste food she isn't going to eat? Not the asshole. Why does your wife want you to spend the time and energy to make a meal for her that she's not going to eat? I don't understand why she would want to take a sandwich and an apple on brief jaunt every day before returning them to the fridge. Pack my lunch even though I probs won't eat it. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. I would be livid if my boyfriend didn't eat the lunches I made him. I do think you guys should have an open conversation about it though. I get the social obligation of having to go for lunch with colleagues once or twice a week. So why don't you guys focus on letting each other know and asking about lunch plans? Not the asshole. Packing her a lunch which she is not eating is wasting food and also wasting your time. It is immature of her to want you to pack her a lunch she is not going to eat. She needs to grow up and understand that people should not expect others to do something which does not need to be done. If she wants to take a lunch and not eat it she can pack her own. I am pretty sure she will not do that. Not the asshole. If she doesn't eat it then she can take the same lunch again the next day.